When the roll is cold of yonder, I'll be there. Children, when the roll is cold of yonder, 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 I'll be there. When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and there shall be no more. When the roll is called of yonder, I'll be there. Oh, when the roll is called of yonder. When the roll is called of yonder, I'll be there. Praise God, my family. This is your host, teacher Marva, greeting you in the mighty name of Jesus, thanking you for being here with me today. Those on Zoom, Facebook, and YouTube, happy to be with you today. Again, how are you all doing? What thinkest thou? Today, when the roll is call of yonder, I'll be there. This is what the word of God said. Don't worry. When the roll is call of yonder, he'll be there. We just need to trust him and give him the way. You know, or move out of the way. Let him, let, let, let him come and do what he has to do in our lives so that we could be strong and able to carry on one more time. When the, when the roll is call of yonder, when the roll is call of yonder, I'll be there. When the roll is call of yonder, when the roll is call of yonder, when the roll is call of yonder, I'll be there. You know, I sing in this song in my spirit all morning. So I trust in, no matter what happened, when the roll call thing came, God go be there. When I'm going through trials, God is going to be there. Don't worry, sometimes we're praying and we're not hearing from God. But he's listening. He's waiting on something from you. Because remember, you know, it's not about your wants, but it's about your needs. So if you thinking is about, well, I, I'm talking about God and hearing, he hearing. He hearing now, but it's not about your wants, it's your needs. Hear what he said in this song. He said, Troll the chain, Jen sees of life in trouble and in joy. The praises of my God shall stand my heart. And tongue in prayer, O oh, magnify the Lord with me, with me, exalt his name. When in distress, to him I call, he to my rescue came, the host of God in Catarong, the dwelling of Rajah, deliverance for to all who on his sucker trust. Oh, make but try yells of his love 
experience will decide oh bless our day and only day who in his truth confine Fear him, ye saints, and you will then have nothing else to fear. Make you this your delight, your wants shall be his care to the Son and Holy Ghost, the God whom we adore, be glorious. It was, is now, and shall be evermore. Family in Christ, that is the security God has given to us. Through all the chains and seas of life, in trouble and in joy, the praises of my God shall stand. My heart, my tongue employ. He said, oh, magnify the Lord with me when we exalt his name. When in distress to him I call, he too, my rescue came. That is the God I'm talking about. But you have to call. So today, my beloved brethren, no matter who prosecute you, <laughs> the Bible say, let it be untrue. As long as it is not truth, You have nothing to worry about. Because he said, the host of God encamped around the dwelling of the just. Deliverance he afford to all who his rescue came. Oh, make but trials of his love. He said, experience will decide. Oh, bless a day. And only they who in his truth confine. Listen, brethren, no matter what man say, you need to trust in Almighty God with all your might. I am here to, he to tell you this evening, fear no foe with thee out hands to bless. God is able. But you got to trust in him with all your might. Lean not unto your own understanding, but wait on the Lord. Be of good courage and he shall strengthen your heart. Heaven is he, heaven is he throne and earth is his footstool. He came that you and I should have life and have it more abundantly. Christ, come again. The word of God said, he cleansed the leper, he healed the sick, and he cast away demons. He made the blind see, he made the deaf hear, and he caused the dumb to speak. So don't marvel. Just be courageous. Don't take your eye off the maker. Don't get tied up. Sorry is too much excuse. 
I always say I don't like the word sorry. Sorry is for children. When you come an adult, you put away these things. We have judgment. And when time comes for judgment, everyone wants to be rescued. Because we cannot face the piper. So before you get there, remember there is a prosecutor and his name is God. Careful how we are about to face the judge. The word of God is coming from us today, brethren. And I want you to get it in your get it so that you will be able to walk with me. It's coming from Isaiah, the 43rd chapter, the second verse. It is telling us about the power of God. It tells me the power of faith. It tells me I must remember that the first love the first time I feel love for God. The first time I recognize that I was saved for a purpose. The first time I recognize that there was no more mommy, there was no more daddy. And my feet better be planted on solid foundation. The first time I, I, I look around and there was no spiritual mother. There was no spiritual teacher. And there was no spiritual father. And I was in a strange land. And things was going on that I didn't understand. It was so bad and some, until someone asked me one day, said, oh, you are a foreigner. Oh, you just come. I just couldn't get it. So I placed myself in a place where I needed security. And there was only one place I knew that was in the bosom of God. And I started to pray and fast every week. And my words to God is, have mercy upon me, Lord. Why am I here? And the God of heaven started to reveal as time go by and put Amabiras in the right place. Although they were looking at me, they didn't realize that I was looking at them for strength. But the God of heaven, secure me. Place the right companion in the right place. The Lord know what you need. Many a times, brethren, we don't know what we need. We think we know what we need. We don't know what we need. Because if you're going up a hill, you have to make sure 
that you have prop in case you you tumble down in case you drift the lord just place them around you some does be wolf in sheep clothing some does be good armor bearers some is only for a time but trust me god does do what he says he's going to do the lord does not place us in any position if he ain't fix you for the work but you see what happened a strength come not all at once the tools that he gives us is not for this fight alone. Sometimes we need a hammer. Sometimes we need a saw. Sometimes we need a nail. Sometimes we need a shovel. Sometimes we need a hoe. Sometimes we need a rake. Sometimes we need a, pl a, 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 a pliers. In order to do the work that God gives us, we need all the tools we can get. But when we are, are ignorant to the work of God, we don't see it that way. I don't need this and I don't need Yes, you do. Put it in, in your backpack. So that when the time reach that you need it, you will be able to just put your hand and pull it out. The Lord does not leave us handicapped. I am a living example. I, teacher Marv, is a living example. When he place you in a situation, he grant you the tools. Because you know man is going to come after you. They may not like, like your language, they may not like this, but the Lord give you the tools for the situation or for the circumstances that you have to walk at that time. But in our growth, we must know that it will be other tools that we will need so you see as we as, as we cut down as we're going after you, you finish with one tool you clean it and you put it back because you're going to need it again so you just have to take your time and learn how to use the tools that god give you in the right way so that you wouldn't cause harm because although you're given the tools, if you don't know how to use the tools, you could destroy, you could break down, you could be on the demolition team. But you have to make a choice which side you want to be leaning on. Because sometimes, brethren, you reach a stage you don't know where to turn. And that goes for every leader. No matter how big and nice we look. And like we have all the answers. That's just a myth. We don't have all the answers. We have to look. From whence come it our help. So trust in the Lord. Lean not unto your own understanding, but continue to walk God walk. Family, at this time, let us bow our head in prayer. Eternal God. Father, I your servant come before thee, O God, at this time and hour. I come, Lord, with my arms outstretched before you. Thanking you, Lord, for tender mercy and loving kindness. Thanking you for keeping me, Lord, unto this present time and hour. 
Thank him for the healing of the body, the mind, the soul, and the spirit. I pray, oh God, Lord, that you will continue to bless my waiting soul and do my body ever good. Strengthen all those that on Zoom, Lord. Thank you all those that on WhatsApp, Father. All those that on Facebook that listening to these words, oh God. All those that is in the song of my voice, Lord. Heal their body, their mind, their soul, and their spirit. Remember them as the day come and go. Educate them for your work's sake. Bless their going out, Lord, and strengthen them for the work's sake, oh God. Father, you know man needs, you know man wants, you know up sitting and you know down rising. We come to thee, oh God, for courage. We come to thee, oh God, for strength. And I pray, oh God, that you will continue to give us, Lord, and abide with us all. Lord, remember the hospital, the needs of the wants of the people. Remember the nurses, oh God. Remember the doctors and all those that are lending a helping hand. A Ask upon thee, O God, to have mercy upon us. Ask your God to direct us, Lord. Grant us, Lord, that divine anointing that we may be able, Lord, to do your work and to do it in spirit and in truth. Remember my family circle, the offspring of my body. Remember Amanda in a particular manner, Lord, I begging for a healing of the body, of the mind, of the soul. Remember, O God, Mother Anne Marie, at this time, Lord, smooth bed and give her rest, strengthen her weak frame and keep her. The offsprings of her body, Lord, take charge of her children. Give them love to love her, Lord, and keep her in the bond of peace. Father, Lord, all churches and chapel ministers, ministering staff, I bring them all before thee, O oh God, at this time. And I beg you, O oh God, smooth bed, give them rest, change ways and action. Teach man to wait upon you, O oh God. Father, Lord, I thank you for your understanding that you has given unto me. I pray, O oh God, Lord, that I will continue, Lord, not to lean unto my own understanding, but I will look unto you and live. My God and King this evening, take charge, keep us from sudden accident and danger. Father, you know what I want to tell thee at time. Mother Pearl in mercy, oh God, Lord, remember her in mercy, Mother Moore in Jesus. Remember Mother Deborah and all the members of the Ark of the Covenant. I pray, oh God, that you bless their waiting soul and do their body ever good. Strengthen them, oh God, remember those for the watery tomb. Father, Lord, those for baptism this morning. Prepare their heart and their mind and their body and their soul to make the change that the transformation may come that they may be able lord to call upon thee and you were able to say this is my beloved son in whom i'm well pleased father lord i thank you for all what you're doing and i pray oh god that you will continue to bless us remember bishop john in mercy remember brother richard in mercy lord father lord take charge upon all my brethren in christ's name amen our father who art in heaven holy be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from all evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever family lord this evening my redeemer hear what the word of god said from isaiah the 43rd chapter the second verse he said when thou passest through the water, I will be with thee. And though the river and through the river, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burnt, neither shall the flame kindled over thee. For I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. I give Egypt for a ransom, Ethiopia and Sadia for thee. The Lord set example for us. He tell you if you walk through the water there, the water will never overflow on thee. He said if you walk through the fire, you would not get burned. Neither shall the flame kindled over thee. For I am the Lord thy God. I am the Holy One of Israel. Brethren, we could boast in the Lord. We could boast in this God that we serve. He said he is the Holy One. If we go through the fire, we will not get burned, but we got to trust in the Lord and we got to live the life according to God's will that we will be saved by his blood. Not by no foolishness that is going on, brethren. 
We will be saved by his blood. That's the word of God. So let us be courageous, as I said before. First, understand that precious blood was prayed for you. You're precious. Second, understand you are sitting in safety, surrounded by the angels of God. Remember again that the Lord created you for purpose. So learn about this God that I am speaking about. The Lord that said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No one coming to the Father by me say, follow me, follow God. No matter what no man tell you, do what God says, not what man says. When you learn who God is, you will never fail. But you have to follow his direction and not lean on to your own understanding. If you don't know, pray. Say, Father, I don't understand. I don't know. Teach me, Lord. But you have to willing to wait. You have to wait on his direction. He will send somebody. And if he's sending somebody, I want to tell you, if he's sending someone, he will give you the, 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 the incentive, or if that's not the right word, to recognize when that person comes. You know, they say women have intuition. You will recognize when that person comes. In some vision, some dream, he's going to show you, or he's going to speak to you. I love it when he speaks. You see, God feeling for us, his children, is warm, is loving, is caring, until we mess up. Why did you think he cast them out of the garden? Because they mess up. So they can't live on holy ground again. You have to close it off. It's the same thing with us. When we mess up, he just put us aside. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Look what you're missing. Then some of us, we get envious when we see the garden flourishing on the other side. We leave in where we are and we run in. To get into the garden, to go and destroy that garden before you stay and clean up yourself and understand why it is you're not flourishing as this garden. It's because you're messing up. But before you, but because you clean it, you clean, before you clean it up, you're gone now to destroy something else. And most of the time, people can't recognize, you know, because all we care about is fooling we basket. Careful how you're full in the basket. Remember, you know, it doesn't take a lot to spoil the whole bag. So, brethren, the word said that God is our comforter. So, no matter where you're passing, no matter how the water looking like it's going to drown you, mm -mm, get drown in you. When the roll is called of yonder, he'll be there. Only when the roll call. And when it calls, is when you have no other help and you have no choice. And you're ready to drop arms and call upon God. Because all the time we have strength, we doesn't need God, you know, we need friends, acquaintances. But when all that fail, then and only then, we know who truly God is. So let God be your comforter. Let God be your insurance keeper. Let God be your governor. 
Let God be your confidant. And most of all, let God be a lover. That is one love that never fails. So my word to you today, brethren, be still and know that thou art God. Look unto the heavens and live. For he said, marvel not. I am the I am. I am the beginning. I am the end. I am the first and I am the last. Heaven bless you. Till we meet again, as I said to you, brethren, if you love that podcast, subscribe in Jesus' name. Amen. Love you.